Hello, I'm John Jay, Market Development Manager of Corning Optical Fiber. Today I'm going to demonstrate Corning's Clear Curve ZBL Single Mode Optical Fiber. This product features what we call bend and sensitive technology, which is a real advantage in fiber to the home applications where tight bends are required. As you will see, you can bend Clear Curve ZBL Single Mode Fiber much tighter than you can standard single mode fiber. In the past, Bringing fiber to multiple dwelling units, or MDU, or apartment complexes has been a real challenge. While you could easily run fiber right to the side of a building, once you got inside, the environment became much more complex due to construction and routing, often requiring numerous 90-degree bends. Additional challenges were created because the fiber is exposed to the subscriber, risking accidents, excessive bending, and any number of things. And as you may know, standard single mode fiber doesn't take this kind of treatment very well. If you bend it, you'll have signal loss that may cause service problems. Corning's Clear Curve ZBL fiber addresses all of these challenges. To demonstrate just how effective Clear Curve ZBL single mode fiber is, I'm going to show you three different products. First, we have a drop cable like you might find inside an MDU with a standard single mode fiber on the inside. Second, we have a drop cable with a clear curve ZBL single mode fiber inside. And finally, I'll demonstrate what we call a ruggedized drop cable. It's a more robust drop cable with clear curve ZBL fiber inside. We're going to send video signal at 1,550 nanometers wavelength across each of these to demonstrate the benefits of bend and sensitive fiber. Please take note of the two monitors behind me. On one, you see the output of a power meter showing the signal loss across the demo. The other displays the video signal sent across the demo. It will show the impact of the demo on a live video feed. This will provide a fairly accurate simulation of what you might see if you were sitting at home watching television across a network like this demo. I'm now holding a 5 millimeter radius mandrel. I'm going to wrap a single turn of this drop cable that has the standard single mode fiber inside around the mandrel. Now take a look at what has happened to the signal loss and the video feed on these monitors. A considerable amount of attenuation has occurred with just a single turn and you can already begin to see some significant signal degradation in the video feed. Now if I put another turn on the mandrel the signal is basically gone. With those two turns using standard single mode fiber there is no longer a signal at the subscriber's location. That person is now calling the service provider's helpline, asking for someone to come out and fix the problem, which is not a good thing. This scenario is obviously challenging, but there are not a lot of mandrels inside of apartment buildings. So let's take a look at a more practical example. In this case, I'm going to put the drop cable across a hard 90 degree bend. With this single bend, you can see that I have significant impact of the signal loss and you are beginning to see the video quality degrade. As with the additional turns around the mandrel, you can imagine that with multiple bends to this drop cable, it's going to be bad news for the subscriber and a big challenge for Corning to solve. That's where our clear curve ZBL single mode fiber comes in. I'm now holding a drop cable that has the exact same construction as the first one except it has a clear curve ZBL single mode fiber inside. So let's conduct the same tests. First, I'll turn it around the mandrel and you'll notice that with a single turn there is not much loss and we still have a great video signal. Let's add some more turns. Two, three, four, five, six, etc, etc, and still looks good. After all these turns I still have very little loss and a wonderful video signal. Finally, I'm going to put the clear curve ZBL drop cable across a hard 90 degree bend. And even with this single bend, you can see that the video signal remains strong. This type of handling is typical of what you would see in an MDU installation. All those turns are equivalent to about dozens of 90 degree bends from the network terminal to where the fiber terminates at the subscriber's location. So clear curve ZBL fiber is a terrific solution for MDU and other applications in which the drop cable might get pinched, bent, or otherwise distorted. I need to point out though that it's still not foolproof. A person installing this cable could potentially bend it tighter than it's meant to be bent. 
And that brings us to our third cable sample. As I mentioned previously, this is what we call a clear curve ZBL ruggedized drop cable. It is a larger outer diameter drop cable that is designed to self-limit the bend of the fiber. To illustrate this, I will take the drop cable and pinch it over on top of itself and you're not going to see any additional signal loss. In addition, the larger outer cable protects the fiber so well that I'm not worried about mechanical reliability no matter how many times it gets folded or wrapped. Just think about how many times that happens in a multiple dwelling unit installation and in most homes. If you look at these inside wiring in these environments, you'll often see bundles of cable, electrical wire, perhaps speaker wires. People wrap the various cables up, fold them over on top of themselves, bundle them up with tie wrap, and then shove the whole bundle up into an outlet box. Standard fiber cable can't perform after that treatment, but a rugged drop cable with clear curve ZBL fiber can. As you can see, I'm squeezing my sample very tightly with no appreciable impact on signal loss or video quality. Now, another real-world handling consideration that must be addressed when you install fiber is how to apply strain relief as you run it through walls. In the past, Corning's recommendation for strain relief hardware has been very conservative. But with this new ruggedized drop cable, you can literally take a staple gun with standard staples from your hardware store and use it to strain relief the drop cable, as I'm demonstrating here. As you can see, I put two, three, four, five staples with no impact to the signal loss or the video quality. Now I'll put a real good one on the cable here. And you can see that we've actually dented the cable sheath with the staple. As I said before, this rugged cable protects the clear curve ZBL fiber even in this very, very severe stapling application. Take a look at the signal and the video quality and there's still no impact. I could put 40 staples into this drop cable and we'd still have a good signal. It's the nature of this bend in sensitive fiber and the self bend limiting qualities of this cable that ensure performance even under these conditions. We feel confident that as you can do this in the field, leave it for 20 years and there still won't be any problems. To summarize, our demonstration today, we've shown how Corning's clear curve ZBL fiber begins to approach the handleability of copper. Clear curve ZBL fiber is fully compliant to the ITUT recommendations G.657.B3 and G.652.D standards. It can be spliced and connectorized the same as standard single mode fiber. We believe in this product and would be glad to talk with you about how it can meet your network requirements. I encourage you to visit our website, www.corning.com slash optical fiber, or contact us directly for more information. Thank you.